guys! It's Cecily. I was just going to do an update for February. Um, I'm not getting closer to the trees than this because I'm inside. It's kind of raining outside. But I planted my trees finally. That is a crab apple. That is a black Jonathan apple. That's a plum tree that we planted like two or three years ago that's not really doing a whole lot. But I'm going to mulch it this year and hope it does better. That is a black Jonathan apple. Um, I thought these were really neat. The crab apple and the pear. Wait, no. That's the pear. That's the black Jonathan. Crab apple. Crab apple and pear tree I got for $7 at Home Depot. I told y'all about. I got that one at a local nursery. I think I got that one at Win Dixie. But I was going to show y'all those real quick. And. I'm also very impatient and went ahead and got some larger seed starter trays. Uh, I've got this small one here, but I've got this larger one because it is nowhere near time to set things outside. Uh, these, if I was going to be starting them, if it was two weeks to a month before time. Hang on just a moment. Okay. Anyway, so these are larger. So they can stay in here for, depending on the plant, like up to two months some of them can. Some might actually stay longer depending on how long it takes them to grow and for the roots to fill the trays. But these are like three inches. They're this deep. Whereas these ones are not quite as deep and it is a little, it's a hex thing. It's not a whole lot bigger than my thumb for real. So I'll start those closer to spring. And these are what I'm starting today and it is February the... Rachel, what's the date? Today? Yeah. The Today is the 5th, so it's way early. But I was excited. Um, UT, who is another YouTube channel, I will link him below. I will try to link him properly, but I'm not always great with that. He sent some extra seeds, so I've got some seeds he sent, and then some I've saved from last year, and a few that I got new this year. But these are what I have got started in these trays. I need to actually label them, but I did take pictures holding it up next to the tray as I go along. <laughs> so I'll hopefully remember what's in which tray. But I've got marshmallow. I don't know if that's calendula or calendula. Different people say it differently. Echinacea. Um, that's in my garden or tomatoes. Uh, that's one of the ones from UT. And he says, you know, the ones they share, some of them are older. Some they save themselves. So germination might not be quite as high as we'd like, but hey, free seeds. I'm excited. Thanks, guys. All right, tomato, Bonnie Best. I got this bicolor cherry tomato here. Tomato, black, I don't know, it looked cool. Jalapenos. Uh, why are we blurry? Green, Prince, Wheaters, Jodges. There we go. Tomato, green, ver... Focus, focus, there, whatever word that is. But those don't look cool. That just looks neat. Uh, zinnias, uh, Cracker Jack, Marigolds, some lavender, borage, two different kinds of chives, just because they look really cool. Uh, then these are some sweet peppers, Carbachi sweet pepper, Cherry Bomb Mild, Violet Sparkle sweet pepper. And I have a whole thing over there. Of other seeds, but I'm just really excited because I want to get something started. It's all blah Outside it's not really cold here like yesterday. It was almost 70 and it was all sunny And then today the kids get out of school because of rain because you know what happens when it's 70 degrees one day and it rains the next It's Alabama. Maybe we're gonna have a tornado. Who knows? We're gonna hope not though um, Doesn't seem so bad, but anyway, so I'm gonna cover these with some plastic wrap once they start to germinate. Well, while it's covering plastic wrap, I want to keep them in front of this window for some sun and warmth. But once they start to germinate, I'm going to take the plastic off and I'm going to use my new light. Blue spectrum for vegetative growth. I don't know what all that means. Um, I saw one thing a guy says it needs like 5,000 lumens and 5,000 something else. And I haven't figured out where to look for that at on this. Oh, hey, I bet it's right here. Hang on. Voltage, current, power, 
photon flux. I don't know what that is. None of these are things. Maybe it's the luminous flux. I don't know. I get confused on this stuff, but I know I need a fancy light to grow plants in my house so they don't get leggy. So this is what I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to set it here, and hopefully that'll be close enough. Ignore some of my stuff back there. I'm going to use, that's an old trundle bed. It's broke. I'm going to use it for a trellis in the garden because I figure why not. But this is what I got going so far. I will try to update periodically and let you know how it's going. Wish me luck. Bye.